We have here the series of pictures that Albrecht Dürer made to illustrate the book of Revelation. They are lithographs that he did, engravings on lead plates that were then used in order to print these pictures for a book that was to be published at the turn of the century in 1500. Now we saw Dürer's painting of um, Paul and Mark on the one side and John and Peter on the other. Uh, here we're seeing very quickly uh, John here on Patmos seeing the Son of Man with the Word of God coming from his mouth uh, and with the seven candelabra around him. Here a much more complex picture but it's when uh, John is taken up into heaven and sees the throne of God. God sitting on a throne surrounded by a rainbow and with all of the angels that, as well as the elders and the four living creatures surrounding him in the courtyard of the priests. Here are the four horsemen. On the far right, the first horseman with the bow, then the, the horseman of, um, of rivalry, of competition, of conquest, and then war with his sword, and then famine uh, with swinging in his uh, right hand the scales, remember the, ra the, the high prices for food, oil and wine at the time of the famine. And down below we have uh, death on the horse. And behind death is a monster who is eating, swallowing with his open mouth uh, the f evil people who are being trampled by the horsemen. And it's this image you could say of, of, of death and, uh, and uh, what leads up to death, which is this uh, spirit of rivalry, uh, this is uh, um, revealed in the opening of the first four seals of the book in the hand of God. And here we see the time of the great uh, earthquake at the uh, opening of the uh, sixth seal and the heavenly bodies that are affected by this. And here on the right is the angel marking the 144,000 with the seal on their foreheads. These will be the forces that will be able to uh, go through the final catastrophe. And in front of us, we have uh, four angels. These are the angels of the winds who have been told not to release the winds until this uh, marking has taken place. Again, that was in the sixth seal. And here... We have the, uh, see the star falling from heaven on the left. These are the trumpets. You can see each angel has a trumpet and the blowing of the trumpets and the catastrophes that occurred on uh, the earth, on the sea, on the fresh water, the rivers and springs, then on the heavenly bodies, sun, moon and stars, then under the earth, then beyond the great river, and then behind the heavenly bodies, the heavens itself. The trumpets. Here we see the angels who are going about an angel in the heaven who has blown a trumpet, as you can see. And this is leading to a disaster on the earth in an effort to try to stop the wars. You can see a, a pope down below on the right who's being punished with his triple tiara and all kinds of other bodies. Remember that Albrecht Dürer was a Catholic who became a Lutheran this time. And finally, with the seventh trumpet, the, the woman standing on the moon, dressed in the sun with the twelve stars as a crown, uh, giving birth to a child, and the dragon here with seven heads is 
waiting to eat it, but the child is taken up into the heavens to the father. And then the uh, dragon will call up from the earth. Here we can see the, uh, uh, the earth beast that looks like a lamb, but it's really a beast. It speaks with the voice of the dragon. And uh, on the right, the sea beast with seven heads. And how the earth beast makes a, an idol of the uh, uh, sea beast and those who worship it are marked uh, with the mark of the beast and they have the right, only they have the right to buy and sell in the city. So uh, this it, it's the city of Babylon that is being formed here though we have not seen her yet and we won't until we get back to earth. In the clouds surrounded by the angels is the image of the son of man this would be one of the aspects of Jesus. And uh, on the right, there's, uh, I believe, an angel carrying the cross, which would be the sign that he's also the lamb. And in his hand, he has that uh, sickle, as you may remember. The Son of Man was going to go off to this, or be in charge of this harvest of the wheat and of the grapes, of the wrath of God that would be put in the bowls. So uh, uh, Dürer's book uh, with these plates, of course, will be able to spread the, uh, uh, the meaning of the revelation, which here uh, will be applied to the struggle, too, between, both the Cath between the Catholics and the Protestants at the time of the Reformation. So, again, we can say, well, this is another work of, of religious and political propaganda, just as the tapestries of Angers were. Uh, and shortly, we're going to see a last contemporary effort to express uh, the apocalypse, the revelation, uh, in our own time. But to read this, is uh, this de the details of each of these plates is more than a lesson uh, in uh, reading the Apocalypse and in reading the times of Albrecht Durer and the, the Protestant reform of the Church. And here we have the woman Babylon seated on the beast in her hand, the cup of blood. We saw this same... Uh, 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 image in the Apocalypse uh, Tapestries of Angers. Uh, and up in the upper left-hand corner, you can see the horseman, uh, Word of God, coming on the white horse with his army against these evil forces below. And here, after the Battle of Armageddon, the angel will put the devil into the abyss and lock him there for a thousand years. And meanwhile, the angel above will be showing John, indicating to him the new Jerusalem that will come after the battle of Jerusalem, after the devil will come, will be released from the abyss and go out to gather the nations from Gog and Magog to come against the holy city. Here, a final picture of the legend that John was uh, the, the apostle, the supposed writer of the gospel, the letters, and the apocalypse uh, was uh, captured and was to be martyred and put in boiling oil, but this oil uh, the, did not affect him. He was uh, uh, immune to that uh, torture, survived, and the only one of the twelve apostles of Jesus who was not a martyr. The place of his martyrdom is commemorated in Rome at the Church of uh, St. John Lateran. And so we come to the end of this series of nine lithographs that Albrecht Dürer engraved over 500 years ago.